Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic with us and I hope we're doing well and today we're going to talk about two specific stories that expose how Hollywood has just gone completely woke out of its mind. Like it's it's beyond just oh every now and then there's a movie that's woke or hey all the Disney films are starting to go in certain directions or hey Marvel's going to go in a certain direction. This is getting to the point where almost every single person including people that I used to really respect and love are now starting to jump aboard the woke train. So I'll get into that part of it in just a second, but everyone knows and is talking about this story right here, where Tim Miller says that Terminator Dark Fate will scare the F out of the misogynistic internet trolls. Ah, uh, yes, this is where we've come to now. Tim Miller is single-handedly destroying his film before it even comes out. You are seriously jumping aboard this train. Do you want to know the last time that a film truly jumped aboard this train completely? That's right, it was Ghostbusters 2016, and what happened to that film? It lost a crap ton of money. Knowing how much money is probably going to be thrown into this film, knowing that James Cameron is producing this film and he's obviously got a crap ton of money it tells me that this film is probably going to be one of the biggest box office bombs of the year now it's so obviously a lot of things can happen between now and then but i would say that any person that was even left interested because let's look at terminator franchise it used to, it used to be awesome you know the original terminator was very dark and definitely more like a, almost like a horror film in a lot of ways. And then you had T2, which to me, in my, as, in my honest opinion, I liked better because it was more of an action film. And I tend to like action films a little bit more. And T2 was freaking fantastic. And then, of course, you had all the films following. You had Rise of the Machines. And then you had Salvation. And seriously, like that's where we are now, where every single film just got worse and worse. And now we're getting this. It's a film and a reboot that no one really asked for unless it was going to be done right. And they're throwing James Cameron's name on it. But just keeping this in mind that James Cameron is only on as a producer. He is not going to have a lot of full control as to what the story actually does. And Tim Miller is the person that's directing this film. And if he's saying that this is going to scare the F out of misogynistic internet trolls, if he's going to go ahead and play the identity politics card, if he's going to go ahead and say that any person that's going to be critical of this movie already before the films even come out is a misogynist, is a hateful white male etc. If that's the direction that they're going to go with it, promoting the film, mind you, he's supposed to be promoting the film in this way. I don't know who he's expecting to actually show up because a lot of the people that he's probably trying to reach out to don't actually go to the movies anyway and are probably going to pirate the film in the first place. And then any person that was still interested in this film and in this franchise even just a little bit, like I, for example, am still very much in love with the Terminator franchise. I was excited when I found out Limbaugh Hamilton was going to be brought back, that Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to be attached to it, and that James Cameron was at least going to be involved in the process somewhat. But now I can tell you very firmly, I I will not pay to see this film. This is a film that I was excited to see, or at least, you know, intrigued to see. And now I have absolutely no desire to see it. And this all comes from, once again, this current culture within Hollywood where they're constantly trying to push this identity politics nonsense in there. And obviously everyone was being very critical of this image because, let's be honest, like, what is this supposed to do? Is it, are we supposed to be interested in this image at all? If they were going to try and make the person look like a boy, why didn't you just get the boy <laughs> cast in the first place? Like, seriously, what in the hell is your problem? Major movie franchises such as Ghostbusters and Star Wars have been targeted by misogynistic... Oh, say, so now, okay, IndieWire, you suck. IndieWire, you are a shill website. You are a politically driven website. No one ever go to IndieWire ever again. Dear Lord. Zach Scharf, who in the hell do you think you are? You are a freaking idiot. So anyway, people apparently are misogynistic internet trolls are the ones that are going after these films. Oh, really? So why is it that Ghostbusters lost money? Is that just because all the trolls decide to stay home? Are there that many internet trolls out there that don't go see movies? I would have thought that most internet trolls, at least, you know, actual internet trolls probably don't leave their house very often and probably don't actually go to see the movie. So why in the hell would that affect the box office numbers? It's a good question, right? Obviously, you're not thinking about that. Star Wars. Okay, let's talk about Star Wars. So are you saying that it was because of internet trolls that sold a Star Wars story lost almost $200 million at the box office? Really? You're bringing up two franchises that both had two big box office bombs because of identity politics and because the movies weren't very good. Because when you try to make a film that's so, you know, centered around and focused around identity politics, no one's going to support it. That's why Solo lost money. That's why Ghostbusters lost money. And no one is going to, like, seriously, have you just not learned at this point? Are you that thick-headed? Are you that much of an idiot where you can't figure that out for yourself? Seriously, IndieWire? Seriously, Zach Scharf? Get out of here with that nonsense. Trolls started bashing the film the minute Par Paramount debuted key art depicting all three women together. For director Tim Miller, that misogynistic backlash is meaningless. Oh, good lord. Are you kidding me right now? It was not misogynistic backlash. You do realize that we were, crit we, were we were critiquing it because of this specific image right here. Because it goes in tow. It goes hand in hand with all of the identity nonsense that's being pushed. You know, all of the... Everything that's being pushed right now in Hollywood. Obviously, I have to watch what I say because, you know what, uh, to all the hideout.tv people that might be screening this video, they might take this video down if I go in certain directions at this point. Don't worry. If they, the next time they take a video down, I'm done with their website. But anyway, 
All that being said, side note aside, this is just getting absolutely ridiculous. But getting back to the heart of the matter, where it was something that honestly really broke my heart in a lot of ways, because I love this actor, I love this franchise, and the fact that he's now come out and said this really pisses me off. So this is from our friends over at Bounty of the Comics, so get out of here, IndieWire, screw you! I close your window. Anyway, we have now this article from Bounty of the Comics, which is a great website, not a show website, reports on the news, doesn't cover for anything, doesn't try to spin anything, just says things as they are and as the reality exists. So, Back to the Future star Christopher Lloyd proposes climate change as a possible message for a fourth film. Well, first off, thank God he's not the one running this universe at this point because the one that is running this universe, Robert Zemeckis, has already gone on record saying there will never be another film and that they will have to make this film and reboot it over his dead body. Now, what's really sad is that I'm really afraid that when he eventually passes away that they will almost immediately try and jump on it and try to reboot this franchise. And you know they're going to make it woke, and I just don't want that to happen because Back to the Future is probably my favorite total trilogy of all time it really just has all these films that just go hand in hand with each other you can watch them all in one sitting and they all connect to each other the way they do time travel is hilarious and it's really fun all the characters are great too and all the actors are great including christopher lloyd as i said before i love christopher lloyd his version of fester adams and the adams family and Adams Family values is freaking flawless him in camp nowhere is something that I still always go back to. He is a comedy legend and a comedy genius, and Doc Brown is probably one of my favorite iterations and favorite characters that he's ever done. So this truly breaks my heart that he's now trying to jump into the identity politics nonsense and into the just pol political messaging in Hollywood in general, and I really do think and, and just hope that this never happens. So Lloyd states this, I think somehow it needs to kind of convey a message about something that's important to everyone, universally, like climate change, some way of incorporating whatever fever is going on at the moment into a film and keep the feeling one, two, three. He was the one who, as I was, who, am, who I am, and there was never any awkward anything. We just knew how to be our characters with each other, and it was very comfortable. He was a great sense of humor and intelligence, talking about Michael J. Fox. But it sounds to me like this is pretty much a throwaway line to comicbook.com. However, it is still a line that we need to pay attention to nonetheless, because he should know. He should be smart enough at this point to know that by throwing out language like that, and especially trying to tie it into a future film that in all likelihood is not going to happen that he's going to end up creating a much bigger backlash and also a much bigger problem for his film and for the future of the franchise because you know, as I said, they're going to reboot it at some point and they're going to take this idea and of course, unfortunately, you know, when eventually Christopher Lloyd passed away, they'll probably say, well, Christopher Lloyd said that he wanted this and so we're going to respect his wishes instead of respecting the wishes of Robert Zemeckis. But guys, what are y'all's thoughts about this? What do you thoughts about this and also the Terminator Dark Fate? You know, I honestly am just getting so sick and tired of this, really. And, you know, it's making it easier for me because these are, you know, movies that I don't have to support, I don't have to see. It's very easy for me now to say, oh, Lion King, I don't have to see that anymore because obviously I'm boycotting Disney because of all the stupidness that's going on with them. Now with Dark Fate, it's like, okay, great. That's another movie that I don't have to go out of my way to go see. I really wanted to be able to go to the theater to experience it, but now I'm not going to give you any of my damn money because I want your film to fail because I want this message to be sent and to be heard and loud and clear. If you didn't hear with Ghostbusters 2016, which was a giant loss, if you didn't hear with Solo, A Star Wars Story, which was an even bigger loss, hopefully you'll hear it with Terminator Dark Fate, but of course you probably won't hear it because you got your head so far up your ass you can't hear a damn thing. But anyway guys, what else thoughts about this? Please let me know in the comments below. Also guys, if you like this video, smack the like button, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. Also think about supporting the channel by checking out my Amazon link in the description of this video. Also think about possibly going through ExpressVPN. I have a, a referral program there because ExpressVPN is a great way to use your Fire Stick TV, allegedly, of course. And also, please think about possibly donating to the channel. It helps me continue to do what I'm doing. And also, I am right now with this month, with the end of July, trying to save up some money to be able to, uh, to put towards a better audio setup because I really want to improve the audio of this channel. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I love you guys. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.